Hey everybody, it's Ryan here. In this video, I'm gonna lay out a step-by-step -step strategy specifically on how to make $100,000 on YouTube in 2024, whether you have subscribers or not. This is probably gonna be one of the most important videos that you ever watch. And I'm gonna explain everything that I would do and I am going to do to show you how to do this in 2024. So if that's something that you wanna to listen to, something you wanna watch, then go ahead and click the like button, share this with somebody, make sure you watch to the very end because I'm gonna have a special offer uh, for those of you guys who want help with putting this particular strategy into action and having me do most of the heavy lifting for you. Okay, with that being said, let's jump into it. Okay, so you're here on YouTube. Welcome, welcome to 2024. I know we're still in December 2023, uh, but most of you guys, when you watch this video, it's gonna be 2024. So I wanna welcome you to a new year. I wanna welcome you to a new you. In this video, I'm gonna break down some of the myths uh, that come with uh, making money online in general. I'm gonna show you why YouTube is the most important vehicle that you could use uh, to actually implement this strategy and have the best 2024 or have the best financial year of your life so far. And so um, it doesn't matter um, if you're in debt, it doesn't matter where you are financially right now, you could use the strategies in this video uh, to make $100,000 uh, cash collected in 12 months if you follow everything that I'm gonna say here in this video, okay. Okay, so a couple of different things that we have to get out the way. I pray that uh, when I share these strategies uh, in this particular video, that you're going to use the money for good. And so what I want uh, before I go into these strategies of what to do to earn the $100,000 in 2024, I wanna get a commitment from you. Do me a favor right now, put, I commit in the chat, right? I commit in the comment section right now that you're not going to use the money for anything bad, that you're going to use the money for good, okay? So if I give you the strategies in this video of how to make $100,000 in 2024, that you are going to commit to doing it, right? So put, I commit that you're, not, you're gonna commit to doing the strategy, but also write, I commit uh, so that you're not going to use the money for evil, okay? And so uh, the second thing that I want to acknowledge, again, this video is for informational purposes. Purposes. I'm going to be sharing with you the strategy of how you can do it, how I'm going to do it, uh, how you're going to see me do it. Um, but obviously in no way, shape, form or guarantee can I legally promise you that you're going to make a specific amount of money. This is for educational purposes. It is going to have real world value um, of what you can do. But that's my promise to you. OK, so with all the legal jargon so I don't get sued. <laughs> uh, let's talk about how to make $100,000 in 2024. Okay, so first thing, it's gonna start with mindset, all right? So I'm gonna get the hard part out of the way. First thing you have to do is you have to believe that $100,000 is possible. Uh, most people have never made $100,000 in a single month, or I mean, sorry, in a single year. Uh, some people, uh, you know, have never uh, made $100,000 in two years. And so the fact is that you must first begin to uh, understand and acknowledge that you are a person, that you are worthy, that you are a person who is worthy of having abundance and having uh, peace in your life because uh, with an extra $100,000 that's gonna show up uh, in your life in 2024, uh, you're gonna have more peace, you're gonna have more mental clarity, you're gonna be able to do more things, you're gonna be able to be more generous, you're gonna be able to be uh, a more giving version of yourself, you're gonna be, be able to be a better and more complete version of yourself because you can do more, you can have more, you can show up more, you can uh, put a, um, priority on, on your time, what you want to spend your time on, right? You don't have to necessarily answer to a boss if you don't want to, if you follow what I'm sharing in this video. Okay, so with the mindset stuff out of the way, believe that you're worth it, believe that you're worthy. Again, especially, I know some of you guys here may come from di different religious backgrounds. You may be a Christian. You may be thinking money is bad. Um, again, I want to let you know that in the very beginning of the Bible, we see in the book of Genesis, there was gold already in the garden. So wealth Abundance is your birthright, so get it out of your mind. Let's get into the content. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is, I wanna share with you uh, to go to 2 Kings uh, chapter four. There's a particular passage in here, okay? In this particular story, this woman who is, her family is getting ready to get sold into slavery, and so she goes to uh, uh, 
the man of God, she goes to a person uh, who is her spiritual leader. Um, she tells him that her husband is dead. These people are coming to sell or take her kids captive and she needs a strategy, right? And so one of the things that he tells her is to sell something of value, to sell something of value, okay? And so at this point, if you are over the age of 18 years old, you have something of value. So uh, whether that's, um, you know, skills that you learn on a job, uh, whether there's, uh, you know, skills that you learn from watching other YouTube videos, uh, where just think about what are some of the things that your friends, your family, people consistently come to you with questions about, right? And so like, if people are consistently coming to you with questions about a particular thing, uh, that thing may be valuable to somebody else and people may be willing to pay you for that value, okay? And so what you're going to be doing is you're going to create a collection of videos that share with a person of what they need to do uh, to get help in this particular area. So let's just say that um, you are a, a world-class baker. Uh, you make the best sweet potato pie uh, known to man and you've won competitions for your sweet potato pie. And so what I would do is I would come on here uh, on a weekly uh, basis. I would start recording videos about how to make the best sweet potato pie. And so it may become redundant to you uh, making the same types of videos, uh, but what you're going to do um, in your videos, as you're making these videos, you're gonna, you know, pan out, you're gonna show people the credibility that you have with, uh, you know, you've won competitions, that people rave about your sweet potato pie. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna invite people to work with you. Uh, you know, maybe you're gonna have them fly to where you are to learn how to, um, you know, learn this, you know, sweet potato pie secret, right? But basically you're gonna to try to teach them how to make the world's best sweet potato pie and you're gonna charge them a premium price, right? And so uh, find a skill that you have, uh, share with people of, of what to do, um, teach them the what, teach them the what, but you're gonna sell um, the how, right? And so um, you're going to charge them a premium price on how. So for me, uh, one of the things that I've done um, I've, I've done sales in my life. Um, I've done uh, email marketing. I've done YouTube now. Over this last year, I built up a YouTube channel. Uh, this channel has grown by 5,151 subscribers. And so uh, some of the things that, um, that I took away from all the experiences that I've had is, is showing people how to get that same result in a faster way, right? And so uh, one takeaway that I ha personally have as a YouTuber now is that if you're thinking about coming on YouTube and you wanna make money, um, start with the end in mind, start with the goal in mind. So, right, so let's say the $100,000 is your goal. Um, most people, what they do is they start to create content and they pray that the money comes. And so what you wanna do is you wanna think about how the money can come first, and then you want to start to create your content around that, right? So you wanna be a business owner who does YouTube and not a YouTuber um, uh, who has a business, right? And so I think most people are, are, are setting their, their content up this way. They're trying to be a YouTuber uh, that has a business versus being a business owner who does YouTube. And so what you wanna do is have something of value to sell that people would be willing to part money with, right? And so the way that we uh, find people who um, are, that, that have a, uh, a need or a desire for a premium price uh, product are finding people that typically have some type of pain um, or extreme desire in their life. And so, um, you know, going back to the sweet potato uh, person, right? So let's say you have the world's best sweet potato pie. The only way somebody is going to pay you $3,000 or more, uh, you know, to come learn how to do this, if you can find the pain point of why uh, they need to learn how to do this recipe, right? So uh, maybe uh, them being able to be a better cook um, is going to help uh, with their marriage. Maybe being a better cook um, is going to help them win a competition where they can w win a grand prize, right? And the grand prize is more worth more than $3,000. But basically you wanna figure out what's the problem that they're facing um, and you wanna connect that problem to the solution that you have to offer, right? And so right now, um, one of the easiest things to do is if your skill set in some type of way can help somebody uh, save money, make money or save time, people can automatically start doing the math of how much 
value that's going to add to their lives, right? And so what I want to do and what I'm gonna be spending the majority of uh, time doing next year um, is helping people just like yourself who are wanting to learn how to, um, you know, take what they do, take the value that they already have inside of them and turn that into an actual uh, business that they can charge a premium uh, price for. And the reason why we charge the premium price is because that's going to help us as the business owner provide the highest level of service, the highest level of value to our clients. We can show up and serve them in the highest way possible, right? We can do other things for them that we would not be able to do if we were only charging, you know, $7 or $10 for a, a low ticket product. Um, and so when we give them a truly great experience, people remember it, people tell other people about it, and right, and so now we have a natural built-in referral uh, you know, model because uh, when people great, get a great experience, they're gonna tell other people about it, right? If it's something that's changed their life. Now, for me, one of the reasons why I just absolutely love YouTube, and I think you don't need subscribers to actually make $100,000 if you're creating content um, to try to gain subscribers, most times when you're trying to focus only on gaining subscribers, you're creating a wide, wide content that doesn't have a direct correlation to you being able to sell a particular product, right? And so like this particular video, um, this video may not get a lot of views However, people who are interested, people who have a business mindset and say, hey, I want to change my 2024. I don't want my 2024 to look like 2023. Those people are gonna be excited. Those people are going to uh, raise their hands. Those people are, are gonna be the people who say yes and want to work with you, right? And so when you start to laser focus the content that you're creating, right? So that you're, it's almost natural, like you're pre-framing the content uh, around being able to push people into what you're getting ready to sell them, getting ready to offer them, it just makes this a uh, smoothless, uh, more, uh, a smoothless, uh, easy to transition type of process. And so right now, if you're a person you say, hey, Ryan, this makes sense. Um, I can see how in 2024, just by having, you know, 30 people to say yes to an offer that's around $3,000 to $5,000, I can see how I can make $100,000 in 2024. Now, my only question is, is how do I put this all together? Okay, so a couple different things that you need to put it together, right? And so you're going to be on YouTube, you're going to be getting some views from the videos that you post, but the next thing that you have to make sure that you actually uh, do, and this is gonna be the most crucial part where most people mess up, is you have to capture the information, right? You need their phone number, you need their name, you need their email address, because most times when you're selling a product that's $3,000 to $5,000, the typical person is not gonna spend that with you you know, sight unseen the very first day. And so there must must normally be a, a nurturing process where you're going to consistently uh, send out more emails. Maybe you send them some of your other videos where you uh, break things down even further, right? So what I could do after this is, you know, uh, you know, break these steps down into like micro steps and uh, continue to to edify and continue to build you up build up the value and show you that i'm a credible person who can help you with this particular thing right and so um once you capture their information you can consistently follow up with these people the next thing you want to do is you want to um, have these people book a strategy session where they can speak with you on a one on one basis, right? And so uh, the nature of this one-on-one -on -one conversation is going to increase the likelihood of somebody wanting to work with you. Um, that person has already seen a video on you on YouTube, right? That they know you like you and trust you, so there's some type of familiarity, familiarity there. You've given them value from the content. Um, so this is a, a something you create inside of them called the law of reciprocity, where they feel uh, almost a moral obligation to to do something good for you in return because you've done something for them. So you're, you're activating the mental and spiritual laws, right? You've, you've sown into their life uh, by giving them content, by giving them value. And now you're putting yourself in a position to reap. And so when you have this one-on-one -on -one, uh, call with them, there are 10 particular questions that you wanna ask. I can't cover all 10 of these questions um, in this particular video, that, that would make the video too long. Um, but also these 10 questions are the most important things that you wanna do. They will literally set the frame that they would make selling a $3,000 to $5,000 uh, offer 
almost uh, you know a, a lay down situation where people will just virtually say yes um, if you ask them with the correct tonality with the correct uh, posture most people are gonna say yes to your offer and so when you ask these 10 questions in the right order in the right sequence and you've done everything that I said in this video then it just really becomes about um, you coming on the on the phone call with the expectation that you're just going to have conversations with people that you're gonna get to know people you're gonna get to, to uh, them to know you and you're not um, looking necessarily for them to say yes on the phone call all you're looking for them to do is to give you a decision whether it's yes or no um, and you're not going to be partial you're not going to lean in to any particular uh, decision because the more you want them to say yes typically um, you start giving off this air that you need them to say yes. And so when you need someone to say yes, it puts them in control. And once they're in control of the sales conversation, you are going to lose. And so all these little, little, you know, nuances and things are, are things that I, I can teach you. I can share with you, uh, you know, from learning these over the last 15 plus years of sales marketing experience. Uh, these are the little tweaks that you're going to need uh, to make the hundred thousand dollars in 20 uh, in 2024. I want to show you how I want to partner with you. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to give you my phone number uh, where you can text the word coach, text the word coach. If you want to be one of the students that help uh, earn a hundred thousand dollars in 2024, text the word coach. Um, let's schedule a time where I'm going to walk you through these 10 questions. I want to uh, share with you and, and see if you're a perfect fit uh, to be one of our beta students um, into our YouTube uh, coaching program. We're going to show you how to earn $100,000 on YouTube in 2024 um, using the steps I've outlined. Um, uh, go ahead and text the word coach right now. And so the final piece of the puzzle where you can automate this and that you can have a consistent amount of people watching your content every single day is you want to take $5 a day a minimum of five dollars a day and you want to put it into advertising so like this video right now i'm going to start running about five dollars a day to this particular video in 2024 this video will be one of the videos that will be responsible for me earning over a hundred thousand dollars and i'm going to prove it i'm going to document it you're going to see it here on the youtube channel um, but that's the process that's what you do to earn a hundred thousand dollars in 2024 and it's that simple and so if you want a simple re repeatable duplicatable process of how you can earn a hundred thousand dollars in 2024 and beyond then go ahead and text the word coach to 702-608-1689, 702-608-1689. Obviously, you can already expect that this program is gonna be between the, the, the prices of $3,000 and $5,000. And so if you're a person who does not have at least $3,000 to invest today, then you probably do not qualify, okay? And so um, do me a favor, like this video, share this video with somebody else who needs to hear it. Um, this is how you earn $100,000 in 2024. These are the step-by-step -step steps. Um, you can do this with any skill set. Um, again, find the pain and you will make the gain. God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.